making cars moves us. What moves you? This is the type of sound Guam residents should be able to hear throughout the island in times of emergency. It's a warning system that's used to alert the public about things like tsunamis and other emergencies. It could be used in the unlikely instance of a North Korean attack, but if North Korea were to attack the island anytime soon, the warning sirens wouldn't be ready to activate. Homeland Security Chairman Senator Frank Ogan Jr. At this point in time, we have 15 sirens sitting in a warehouse that awaits installation. And they've been sitting idle in a DPW warehouse for about five years now. According to PNC News Files, Guam Homeland Security spokesperson Alyssa Benito told PNC in September of 2012 that they're not even sure if the sirens are still operational. They were purchased in 2007, but a procurement protest filed by a competing vendor stalled their installation. The procurement protest has finally been resolved, but before they can even begin installation, there are several things that must happen first. Fifteen proposed sites have been identified. Now a geological survey has to be conducted to ensure that there are no ancestral remains in those particular parcels of property and that, in fact, those parcels of property do belong to the government of Guam. Shortly after that, then they would have to go out to bid for the eventual installation of the sirens. Senator Frank Ogan Jr. says it would take about six months for the geological survey to be completed, and then another two to three months for the actual procurement of installation services. This procurement process, however, can be expedited by the governor through an emergency procurement. We had a tsunami alert uh, about a month to two months ago, and then we have this situation right now. I mean, just in a matter of three months, under my chairmanship, We've already had two major alert situations, and that's where we need the sirens. So I would hope that the chief executive, and in conjunction with the Homeland Security, if they need the legislature's help, we're here to provide the support, but I certainly hope that they can expedite the eventual installation. <laughs> 